What is GDPR? Nope, it has nothing to do with the GDP of a country. GDPR is Europe's new data privacy law called the General Data Protection Regulation. And this is even more important now after the Facebook Cambridge Analytica data misuse fiasco. So how does a European law affect you as a consumer here in India? Well, it's a digitally connected world, so you will soon be receiving or probably have already received updated privacy policies from a number of companies. These policies state that your data cannot be used in any form without your explicit consent. It means you will have to click a lot more I accept buttons at every stage. For example, some privacy policy may have earlier stated that as part of the fine print in terms and conditions, you could receive marketing or promotional material. If you skip through that part because it was not clear enough or forgot to uncheck a checkbox, it means there is a data breach by the company. A pre-ticked checkbox is not considered consent under the GDPR. You have to explicitly give consent with clearly written statements for such material. This also means those pesky newsletters and spam emails will likely come down. Also, if there has been a breach of your data, the company will have to notify a regulator within 72 hours and if it's serious enough, inform customers without delay. Under GDPR, you have the right to withdraw access to your data at any point in time and companies will have to erase all records of it. And you can bet companies will be scurrying to comply with GDPR, even Indian digital companies, because data over the internet can be accessed anywhere in the world, including Europe. At the moment, the GDPR covers only Europe, but other countries will soon follow suit. What you can expect over the next few days are many more simplified privacy policy updates and I accept boxes to click. Just make sure you read them thoroughly.